Yeah, there's a bit of a rattle in there. Okay. It's not particularly harsh, and my hearing is less than it used to be. <laughs> I tend to um, treat what's most common first if we're not doing a whole lot of pathology tests and yep. as a wild bird. And the, um, so our choices are um, a Sidivet injection or the equivalent of a Sidivet injection, mm -hmm. which lasts once a week. Um, and um, the other thing that we can do is we can put him on Zithromax if, um, but Zithromax is a, is, um, would be three drops every second day mm -hmm. directly by mouth okay. and it's expensive um, it's expensive stuff um, and you would need to make up a fresh bottle after the first 10 days so if we make up a bottle of that now I can split the bottle and 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 um, reduce your costs a bit but you'll still be paying around about 50 bucks okay for that so Zipramax is another drug that is controversial in veterinary science as far as its mm -hmm. effectiveness against chlamydia but there's been a, um, a paper published in the latest journal of um, avian medicine and surgery uh, reporting a study of it in two species of birds mm -hmm. where it was shown to be effective over three weeks okay given every second day what do you think sweetheart okay so we can go one way or the other if you if you you know how to use Sidivet in the water mm -hmm. uh, or in the nectar. So, yeah, I, I do so, it in both. Right, so that's right. So um, you can go that way, mm -hmm. but I would I would be giving him um, him her um, another forty five day course of that if you can. Okay. But you need to be very alert for secondary thrush. Okay. Yeast infections. And how well in the I. Gut. Uh, weight loss, um, change in the in the poop. Right. Of, often the, you'll see a, con, a change in the consistency of the poop. You may see a, a moist mouth. You might see scabs in the in, in his mouth. Mm -hmm. um, um, any little crusting around the around the beak here. Mm -hmm. If he's not thriving, if he's losing weight. Mm -hmm. uh, thrush is very very common in the birds that are, have long courses of things. Okay. So I'd be giving it for a minimum of three weeks and and probably um, four to five weeks. Okay. And if he's showing an improvement, um, say from the second week on, and it's a bit better the third week and a bit better the fourth week, well then you're on track and you go through to the right course, right? Yay! If he's not showing an improvement then, well then just get back to me and I'll supply you with um, Ziframax if uh, you need it and mm -hmm. go from there. Sure. The other thing I'm inclined to do is to give him some uh, zeolite solution to try and um, that's detox and often that makes a difference as well. Mm -hmm. All right? Sure. A, a few things that we might do to help his immune system, but mm -hmm. you can see his breathing there is not normal. It's, mm. it's, it's labored. Yeah. All right? Okay. Now, there are other things that could be. It could be aspergillosis. It's mm. a fungal infection. Um, I would have thought he would have deteriorated quite a lot within... You know, how long is it since he had the sit of it, roughly? Oh, he finished it last Sunday, last Saturday. Right, okay. Um, well, usually with the aspergillosis, it's progressive and they're just getting worse and worse and worse. So. He did get, like, he went back downhill, well, that's only been four days since right. he stopped. Okay. And both he and Lily started shivering yep. consistently again today. Right. Well, that's my advice at this stage. Um, if we're not doing, you know, if, if he was a pet bird, we'd be doing x-rays maybe and doing mm. other tests. But if we 